So moving on from our chipping tip from last week, uh, we're now going to move into how we can set up consistently for better pitch shots. Uh, obviously those pitch shots where we're in that range of distance, it's not quite a full shot, but it's certainly longer than a chip shot that we would have from around the green. Um, if we can set up consistently in our pitching, then it's only going to help us have more consistent contact on the golf club, which ultimately is going to give us more consistent distance control, and then obviously that's going to make us uh, have much better scoring. So you may have seen an Instagram post from our female golf page that was posted last Friday, I believe, uh, all about how we're using our Colour Path golf kit and how that can help us get into that consistent setup. Uh, and I'm just going to go through that in a little bit more detail so uh, you guys can understand what we need to do to be able to create those more consistent pitch shots. Okay, so you may remember the image that was, as it was posted on that Instagram post. We've got a couple of our pieces of kit on the floor here. Again, a bit like with chipping, we had the red ruler, which is going to denote our ball position, being in the middle of our stance, and also referencing where the handle goes so it's not leaning too far forwards, equally not leaning too far back. Um, we've got our yellow ruler here, which is going to be denoting where we want to align our sternum, which is going to help control uh, your weight distribution and equally a little bit of the low point control. And adding to that, we've got a yellow pad just between my feet here. Helping with stance width, but also to the left half, or my left half of the, of the red ruler on the pad here, again is where we want the club's low point of the swing to be. We want that club to be at its lowest point after the strike of the golf ball. If it's before the golf ball, chances are we're going to hit the ground we're going to hit those duff shots, it's not going to carry the right distance. Um, so having that low point after the golf ball in the yellow area to the left of the red ruler is really going to see much more consistent contact and as I said much more consistent distance control which hopefully will give you much better scoring and save you lots of shots. the points. The two red rulers for the ball position and also handle reference. Yellow ruler for aligning my sternum. The yellow pad is going to be for the width of my stance and then the left half or to the left side of the red ruler is going to be for the low point control. Let's give it a go.